Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This is the final workout of the week, third workout for full body. And we'll begin with some BTN press, free weight, as you can see. And I will be supersetting it with some weight chin up over here. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So I begin by showing the chin up. This is a kind of a mixed grip between pronation and neutral grip. Uh, nothing new about this, nothing magical, you just have to get strong on every variation you could possibly do, so I, ca I could do them, so I did it. Um, as for beach and press, it is for me the main mass builder for the shoulder, triceps and upper back. This is the most comfortable and best press, in my opinion, or best overhead press variation. It, al it also will strengthen your rotator cuff and external rotators, and pretty smooth also for the bar path, so for me, the main mass builder. But you have you have to add the mobility for this and the uh, setup properly adjusted. So yeah. Uh, all right. I just finished my four sets of beating press and my four sets of weighted chin up neutral grip. I'll keep going with a little lighter weight with a really wide grip, pretty, pretty uh, like near snatch grip, but clock of press but still seated to really stretch and condition like the bottom part of the movement because it's still really beneficial for your shoulder hips, your external rotators and your overall posture and also to avoid to buckle the pressure when you're doing heavy weight overhead presses whatever if it's like dumbbell, barbell, in front, beat, BTN, etc. and uh, also keep going with the chin up but this time with like a semi supinated grip not neutral grip but a semi supinated grip uh, just three sets of eight more or less study by eight to ten and, uh, and yeah just to have more volume uh, but uh, not drink volume so as I said, I'm really sorry for the sound quality, I don't know what happened, uh, I think it was a background noises, but yeah, basically the clock of press is an extended range of motion BTN press, so you have a wider grip, so there is more strain, more stretch onto the shoulder muscle, the upper back muscles that have to work harder to stabilize, and this is actually one of the key exercises for weightlifters to assist their snatch position, and for us bodybuilder or strength uh, training enthusiast, a great way to actually protect our shoulder and make them bulletproof for any kind of uh, injuries. So here is the man himself, Dimitri Koklov, a weightlifter, a Russian weightlifter champion doing his pet name exercise. He actually dislocated a shoulder and this exercise helped him tremendously to get them back in, uh, in uh, full power and health, of course. So as you can see, the exercise is really uh, a matter of getting the elbow uh, behind the shoulder, uh, beside the shoulder and just pressing upright and you can actually see the upper back muscle, the shoulder muscle. There is actually nothing wrong with BTN pressing, as I stated. So, yeah. And here is the weighted chin up variation that I switched for. Um, so it's basically some kind of supination, neutral grip uh, chin up. Uh, nothing magical, it's just to get some variation in. All right, I'm done with all the magical presses. Now I'm going to go on the more horizontal presses with a little focus on triceps. So the first thing I'm going to do is a bicep with the bench, flat bench, uh, and a machine roll with elbows in, but close grip, but uh, feeling pretty high to really hit hard the upper back and kind of the radial too. Um, the, the reason why I'm doing reverse grip bench and not normal bench is because it fucked up my shoulder, basically. Uh, I'm not made for normal conventional bench, and even if I could do it painless, it would target more my front delt than my triceps rather than my chest. And the goal here is to hit more the chest, of course, and the triceps. So yeah, as I stated, reverse grip bench is my only viable option for flat bench with a barbell. Uh, just because I do not want to injure or have more pain to my shoulder. So it is me testing two plates and uh, yeah, it was a bit painful. I didn't like uh, feeling at all. There was something around the labrum and the coracobrachial, so yeah. I'm going to use a slingshot and as for the uh, superset as I stated I'm going to use a machine row so yet again machines are not bad machines are not evil they are great complement to your training getting strong onto uh, machine can be really beneficial and for this machine my upper back was getting trashed so it was actually a great option for me since I was going with three plate and a half on each side and I can do that with barbell or with uh, dumbbell without having any kind of lower back involvement and so for the bench, I choose to use a slingshot, which is basically going to de-lower the bar um, when I'm going down to the movement, so less strain on the shoulder, but the same muscle activation for both my chest and especially my triceps. So yeah, I'm basically building my chest with 
wrestling shot and building my bench too. So bench and machine roll are done. Uh, I'm going to try some weighted dips. The shoulder is feeling pretty fine when I'm doing them without any weight, free weight, because I will start doing them on machine for about a month, more a month and a half, and I'm going to superset them with some hammer curl with this specialty bar. So we'll see what goes it going. I'm going to fat grip both on the dips and on the hammer curl. So here is the barbell hammer curl. Uh, which is for me one of the best mass builders for the brachioradialis and the brachialis which are the muscles that are beneath the biceps and on the top of the forearm you can see them actually being worked uh, on the video uh, really really great exercise uh, to try of course for the variation but also to assist into your pull up and chin up and even curls um, strength since they are supportive muscle and the strongest elbow flexor as for dips uh, i normally go with about four plates but as I stated, my shoulder was a bit sensitive, so I was conservative and just used my slingshot pretty low and three plate, which is of course really easy for me, but my triceps were a bit, um, of course, detrained and uh, it had been a while that I didn't do the movement, so it was actually very, very uh, difficult, but it was pain-free, so it is, this is the most important, especially when you want to go really, really far uh, with your lifting career. And I just finished it off with some uh, with just one uh, set of body weight, I think I ended up doing between 30 and 40 reps, maybe 34 reps, I believe, and no pain, it was just full triceps, so I was pretty content with that, of course. It was just to burn out, actually, the, the triceps, and uh, yeah, body weight training, uh, as I've stated before, a stable and should stay a stable until your training. So afterward, I will move on to the arm isolation portion of the workout, so this is the stretch curl. This is basically doing incline curl but on the cable. So as you see I am really focusing on the squeezing and then I control the eccentric part of the movement. Uh, I'm really stretching the bicep making sure there is no or little shoulder and forearm involvement. Uh, and when I am done, which is about right here, I go behind my head and I uh, keep going with some tricep isolation. More onto the long head of course of the triceps. Uh, the cable make it pretty much pain-free and as you can see maybe on the bottom of the rep I am flexing my wrist so the forearm are actually involved to stabilize better the elbow so there is less risk of strain on the elbow and there is less um, pain it's basically like your elbow is tighter and better uh, used and I finish it off with uh, some machine curl this is basically doing some standing curl but with some cable uh, it's not like a the best uh, uh, all and be all exercise but I just use it because it's more variation it's fun and I actually felt it pretty good for each curl again I'm making sure that my elbow is staying tight and a bit behind my body and for the triceps uh, to f focus more to the lateral head I'm doing elbows out uh, dual cable extension um, as you can see I'm using normal handle okay but I'm making sure my pinky is right onto the edge and I'm squeezing my shoulder blade together to really deactivate the lat that can be sometime of assistance in those kind of movement. Um, afterward I'm moving on to the delt isolation portion of the workout so this is again a tree set. I'm doing Y raises with a direct cable again I'm flexing a bit the, the elbow to make sure there is a bit less strain onto the uh, rotator cuff muscle but it's actually the same for your deltoid uh, really uh, no little to no difference but you're still going to fly them up and i changed it with some rear delt so yet again rear delt flies really great uh, exercise to isolate the rear delt of your deltoid and i'm making sure the cable is putting me in front and forward and not just on the side this way there is both the shoulder extension and abduction I will left in the gym because it's closing soon. So the thing you are going to see now is in less than one hour, basically. So I want to do three by eight on three plate and a half yard deal. Then I'm going to do two plates, just a bit more than two plate squat, three by eight, two back squat. And then I'm going to finish my set with some max squat in the Smith machine, supersetting it with some uh, seated leg curl. So yeah, fast, gotta go fast. Yep, I had to go fast. So here is the Hair deal, uh, as I stated, this is for me one of the best mass builders for the posterior chain as a whole, so both the hamstring and the glutes, but also your erectors. And since you are doing uh, deadlift, basically, of course, it's going to stretch the traps. I do wide grip to have a bit more uh, range of motion, so there is more work to be done, and this way I can vary it with some other deadlift variations, basically. 
Uh, as you can see, I'm not going that low uh, to avoid being too much strain onto the lower back, but it's still a great uh, workout for the hamstring and glutes. Um, between every set, I was doing my neck, uh, but I didn't mind through it since you basically already saw what I was doing. Afterward, the back squat, um, I was actually going up uh, since my knee uh, problem. Uh, so, of course, the weight is not uh, as much as I would be, as I want it to be, but yeah, I was doing as I could. Um, I'm going to parallel or just below, and I'm really focusing on flexing the knee and extending it since my VMO was were basically a weak point for me. Uh, the vast lateral, the quad sweep and the glutes are actually strong point but not the VMO. So yeah, keeping upright and putting as much as possible onto the quad. And we arrive at the last exercise. So this is basically Smith machine squat. Uh, so you're basically doing your squat in a Smith machine of course. And you're putting your uh, feet a bit forward to really have some basically a hack squat. Um, this is a poor man hack squat but this is basically all quads. Uh, all knee flexion and extension, so really one of the best mass builders for the quadriceps. Dorian Reit and many of the bodybuilders were actually a fan of it, and right now there is better machine, but yeah, if you do not have access to a good hack squat, Smith Machine Squat is your go-to go movement if you want to really focus and isolate basically your quads um, without straining your back and having much trouble uh, using your, quad, your hamstring and glutes. So why two videos? Well, actually, this is a top set squat that I was doing, basically of the same principle of briefing squats method. This is a whole school method for bodybuilders that want to expand the rib cage and also, of course, destroy completely the tight muscle and get big legs. But I actually miscounted and I got 19 onto the first set that you have on the left. And I actually took the time to do it the same next week, but actually do the same weight and do this time 21 reps to make up for the lack because I really want to be solo with you guys and I really want to show you how hard but how but also how uh, the retribution is really high when you are actually honest with yourself and actually pushing really hard because this is excreating, this is painful, you can breathe, um, <laughs> everything is uh, a bit cloudy uh, on the side of your vision so yeah really hard exercise but you basically gain two centimeters on your diet immediately by doing this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this full body series. Uh, please comment, like, share, subscribe of course, and I'll see you really soon for more content. Bye.